In this video we will see how to achieve the punch drunk effect using shotcut. This video is best viewed in full screen mode. In this fight clip between the hero and the villain let's get to the point where we want to show the villain getting punch drunk after receiving blows from the hero. And this is that point, so we split the footage over here. Let's find the point where the effect should end. And that is over here so we split the footage over here. Now let us replicate this track. We first add a new video track, then drag the same footage into the track. We then split the footage in the new track at the exact same split points as the previous one, as shown. We are interested only in the middle segment of the footage of the new track so we delete the first and last segments of the footage. We then reposition this segment exactly over the middle segment of the lower track. The punch drunk effect looks best in slow motion. So let's slow the speed of the footage of the top track. Click on the footage, then click on properties and reduce the speed to half. Similarly slow down the speed of the middle segment of the lower track by half. Ensure the lower track is in composite mode. Here it is already in composite mode. If not switch it to composite mode. Now reduce the opacity of the footage of the top track. Follow the steps shown here. Click on the top footage. Click on filter. Navigate to opacity and reduce it to 50%. Now go to the start of the middle segment. Note down the start time. Move the top track footage by roughly one second by dragging it to the right. Then go to the end of the top track footage. Then drag the last segment of the bottom track to where the end of the top track footage segment tends. Now let us view the effect. You can see the punch drunk effect here. The superimposed slow mo double image. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share, and like. Thank you.